Hey guys, Jim Haltrim from TV Guide Magazine and TV Insider. I'm here with Matt Eisman from American Ninja Warrior. Hello, everyone, and thanks for joining us. I'm Matt Eisman. And I'm Akbar Pasha Peter Miller. Here we go, Matt, for yet another season together. Matt, I'm so glad the show is back because I feel like the summer wouldn't be the same without the show. I agree. I agree. And I did a little look in the archives, and the last time I talked to you, or the first time I talked to you was 2012. Oh, my God. And that was when, I think it was the first year NBC aired at the same time as G4. That yes. was I, I found it on Futon that Critics. That was our so. season four. My God, that was 10 years ago, Jim. That's crazy. I know. And we both look exactly the same. So that's, that's a good thing. <laughs> that's good. Um, but tell me, you know, I watch the show. I see this enthusiasm from you and everybody, and I, I can tell it's so genuine. How have you sustained that? I mean, over, I mean, ten more than 10 years now. Honestly, Jim, it's one of the great things is we never know what to expect. Where even when we have athletes who are coming back, uh, like David Campbell, who's now competed, he's in season 14, he's competed every year. He's been on the show longer than I have. And what's great is seeing seeing the growth, seeing, seeing these athletes mature, um, seeing David Campbell still be competitive now that he's literally almost three times older than our youngest competitors. <laughs> and I think that's what's been amazing too, is seeing now this next generation of ninjas, kids who grew up watching the show, some of whom competed on American Ninja Warrior Junior. And then last season we lowered the age to 15 and these kids astounded us. And so they're back as well. And so I think just seeing this, what's amazing to me is seeing this go from a show to a sport where yeah. there are gyms all around the country. There are people who train this year round with no expectation of getting on the show just because they enjoy it because they want a challenge in their physical fitness or in life. And it's it's amazing. So anytime Akbar and I are up in the host tower, it it's to me, you always have a chance to see someone do something that maybe even they didn't know they could do. To see something extraordinary to see somebody have a moment. And I always think about it to have a moment they'll carry with them for the rest of their lives where they learned, like, I never thought I could do this, but I put the work in and here I am. Or, you know, even if it didn't work out, like I overcame my fears to get here. And I think it's, it's amazing to see how much passion these athletes bring. And, you know, now we've gotten to know them. We follow them year round on social media. So I, I, I feel like, you know, they're a family and, and seeing all the hard work they put in, in the months and weeks where there's no show, but seeing them put that work in to then get the opportunity on the show to to really show how that hard work has, has helped them grow. Well, and I have, at this point, you still see these major surprises when you have these veterans who come in and you think, oh, they're gonna go through and they're out like on the first round, it's it crazy. Is, Jim, it's heartbreaking every time it that is. happens, but that's <laughs> why it means something when you hit a buzzer. Because yeah. everybody's fallen on the show. Every single ninja except, well, last year, Caden Lebsack never fell. He just ran out of time. But every <laughs> ninja has fallen. And I think, um, you know, rare is the time when they felt like, nope, I gave everything. I just ran out. Usually it's, you know, my, my, I was tired or my, 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 my focus faltered for a second. And all of a sudden, a year's worth of work is over. And it matters. And that's why when somebody does hit a buzzer, you know how much it means to them because you know just how much had to go right. Yeah. And now I believe this season, the age is still starting at 15. So we've at got the 15, young people in there. 15, how did they... I think our oldest is 70. 70, okay. 70 years old. <laughs> And I, you know, last year when that was introduced, I was a little skeptical because I knew that there was a junior show and I was like, well, I don't know if we need the younger kids on the show, but I have to say it elevated it for everybody, including the old timers. They had to really like, really kick ass. It was, it was interesting. A lot of the, a lot of the ninjas, I think were surprised because they trained with the, a lot of them train these kids. Sometimes yeah. for the very first time they were in the gym <laughs> and, 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 and they were the ones who actually gave us the first heads up. I remember Jake Murray, the wild man out of Colorado. He'd been training with Caden and he told us coming into the season, Jake, who's one of our top ninjas goes, Caden is already a better ninja than me. In fact, I think he's the best ninja in the world right now at 15. Wow. Yeah. Um, but, but the thing that, that amazed us was, you know, we knew they might have athletic ability and strength um, and a motor that just won't quit, but we didn't know how they'd handle the pressure of being on the course, you know, that they've grown up watching competing against their idols 
and with millions watching and a million dollars on the line, but they handled the pressure so well. It makes me think, what was I doing in high school, Jim? Exactly. I thought that myself. I wasn't doing that. Um, now, you have such a good vantage point because you're watching it from your, yeah. from your podium up there. Have you ever come up with a competition or a challenge that an you obstacle? thought would really work? Yeah, an obstacle, yeah. It's so funny because like I've submitted some to our to our stunt guys, and anytime I do, they go, "We tried that, did that, we actually have that." And I'm like, "You guys have thought of everything." The only thing I thought of was kind of that American Gladiators tennis ball cannon that Akbar and I would have up in the host tower just to increase the difficulty, but they didn't go for that. Well, I will be wearing my American Ninja Warrior there hat on premiere night. I you love guys- it, Jim. You guys watch American Ninja Warrior every Monday night on NBC. Matt, always a pleasure. Can't Thanks, wait for Jim. the new I season. It. Yeah, you got it. Uh-huh.